Hey everyone, today I'm going to do um, a video about angled algorithms, like doing algorithms in different angles and different positions instead of like, let's say you have an OLL and you you have to do like a U2 in order to, in order to do it or something. So these are the basic ones that I use personally during speed cubing. So I actually use these, I don't just know them, I actually use them. So we're going to start off with these two. We're going to start off with the soon algorithm. Now normally you would do a soon like oh, let me move this like you know r u r prime u prime r u two r prime and that will solve the that will solve your OLO. <clears throat> but what happens if it's like this? Instead of just doing a u two and then doing the algorithm, the r instead of doing that algorithm, you can do this algorithm instead. It's the same variation of the algorithm. It's just in a different position. And it's actually, it's not faster, but it's just faster in this position. Instead of doing a U2 and then doing that algorithm, you can just do this algorithm. And I just, <clears throat> it's the same variation of it. It's just in a different angle. So here's the algorithm. L, U, L prime, U, L, U2, L prime. And that will do the case. See, so yeah, that's the algorithm. So I'll show you one more time. Hold on. So hold it like this. <clears throat> so you can hold it like this. So so when you have the soon case, basically it's U2. So instead of just doing a U2 and doing that algorithm, or sometimes it's yeah, if it, instead of doing a U2, you can just do L U L prime U L U two L prime. So yeah, that's an easy case. So let's get on to the opposite of that. <clears throat> the anti soons. So the anti soon you would just use or you would just use L prime U prime L U prime L U two L. Pretty simple. <clears throat> now for the, so what happens if it's like the same thing, like the soon once of the soon is a U2. See, instead of just doing a U2 and then doing that algorithm, you could just do this. And it's just in this position, like basically instead of just doing a U2. R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R. So it's this R prime, U prime, R. U prime, R prime, U2, R. So I'm going to show you guys fast how I get to do, how I do it. Oh, wrong algorithm. So here's it fast. See, it's pretty fast. It's just, it's the same exact, it's probably the same exact speed as the regular soons. As, it's probably the same speed as the regular soons, but it's just, um, it's in a different position. So it pretty much saves time from you doing that U2. Now, it may not seem like a lot, but it actually is. So here's a uh, PLL one. And this is the T-perm. Now, normally, you would just do the T-perm with your right hand. <clears throat> here's the right-handed one. Some people do it differently, so I'm just going to say the right-handed one. R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F. R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. And that would solve. Oops, that would solve it. Now here is the left-handed one. Now this is the first. This is actually the T perm I used to use. I I used to only use the left-handed T perm, but I just learned the right-handed one like a few months ago. <clears throat> so here is the left-handed one. L prime, U prime, L, U, L, F prime. L2, U, L, U, L prime, U prime, L, F. And here's it fast. See, it's pretty fast. So that is pretty much the T perm one. And the last ones I have are U perms. So this is the U perm clockwise. So now, what happens if your U perm is like this? Instead of just doing a U2 and solving it like that, and then doing another U2 to solve it back, you could just do this. 
<clears throat> now if it's behind here you could just do this algorithm now I know there is a one a backwards algorithm that's like RU and I'll leave that one in the description too but I just like doing M slice moves and I like them they're easier in my opinion so this is the one I'm just gonna show you guys so here's the algorithm M2 U prime M prime U2 prime M U prime M2 That's pretty much it for that one. So it is pretty simple. And the final one is this one. It's the same thing, just counterclockwise. So instead of doing, like, instead of it being in this position where do you do U2, you, have, you could just do this. So if it's behind here, you can do M2, U, M prime, U2, M, U, M2. Those are both the algorithms, sorry. So yeah, those are the algorithms pretty much. So these are really simple cases. Um, If you guys have any more cases that you would like to um, let me, uh, show you guys. I haven't, I couldn't think of any other PLLs or any OLLs or any algorithm in particular that would um, be in a different angle that would be very beneficial. So yeah, so <clears throat> let's go over them a few times. Let's go over them. Um, the soon, the regular soon is just. I'm just gonna show you. Hold on. Let me redo that. Hold on. So the soon one is L U L prime U L U two L prime. And the anti soon one is R prime U prime R U prime R prime U two R prime. And let's go with the T prim one. The T prim one, the right handed one, is R U R prime U prime R prime F R two U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime. And the left handed one <coughs> is L prime U prime L U L F prime. L two U L U L prime U prime L F. Pretty fast. So here is the clockwise one. M two U prime M prime U two M U prime M two. So here is the counterclockwise one. If it's in this angle, <clears throat> it's M2, U, M prime, U2, M, U, M2. So yeah, those are pretty much all the PLL ones. <clears throat> Again, let me know if you know any more that you want me to show on my channel. Thanks, thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. I uh, hope this video helped you out, and thanks for watching.